Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Sheena, and I'm a digital content creator and Etsy shop owner based out of New York City. Today's studio vlog is brought to you by Skillshare. We'll cover a bit more about them later, but let's jump into the content. Now, when it comes to working from home, we can often get into the habit of ordering food or just eating really bad. So for this particular video, I'm actually making a burrito bowl, kind of like a copycat of Chipotle because it has a lot less sodium and I can pack it with good ingredients that I know came right from my kitchen. So now that we are fed, it is on to some work. Now, whenever I am working on stickers or packing or doing admin work, I always like to have some type of background noise, something usually that is helping me learn something or teaching me something new. And so today I'm opening up Skillshare on the right side. And as you guys can see on the left, I have the Cricut Design Studio so I can resize some of these stickers to get them ready for some customers. Now, if you guys would like to see a more in-depth view of how I make the stickers and use a Cricut software, I do have my first studio vlog and some other vlogs from Vlogmas that I will include below in the description area that will walk you right through those steps. Now while those stickers are cutting, I'm going to make some more backing cards for my freebies. As you guys may know from my previous video on this, I make all of my backing cards at home because it's just cheaper and easier. And I actually made a video on how to make backing cards for under 20 bucks. So if you wanna see that, I will also have it linked below for you. So while I was making those backing cards, I was also printing out some more thank you stickers because I ran out. And what's funny is I've gotten so many DMs and emails regarding this thank you sticker design and people wanting me to recreate it for their shop. And while I'm really flattered and I appreciate your support and wanting to work with me, this particular design was made for my shop and is special for my shop and I just would rather not duplicate it across multiple other Etsy shops and brands. However, if you would like me to create one personalized for you and your brand, feel free to send me an email. I will have it linked below and I'll be more than happy to work something out special for you.
And now it's time to do my favorite task, which is packing orders for you all. And if you would like a more in-depth packing video, I also have that linked below. I completed it during Vlogmas. And I decided to take a break from the Etsy work and actually jump on a phone call with a possible prospective business partner. He actually owns a digital media company and we're working out different ways to include me in that process of maybe doing their social media and some of their marketing. And then once I wrapped up that call, I actually jumped onto a paid seminar by uh, Janelle B. Stewart. She is also a content creator that I followed here on YouTube for like eight years, and she's actually opening up a digital content school. So I am taking her media kit course. All right, guys, good morning. Uh, welcome to a new day. So today is all about getting my YouTube content finished and to also swap out my label printer. So you guys see this fancy new label printer, but it turns out that I bought it too quickly. I was too trigger happy and was just copying Catnet because she seemed so happy with hers. But unfortunately, we're doing two different types of printing. She's doing more of address labels where I'm doing more of like postage labels from USPS. And so this particular model just doesn't work for my needs. Um, Luckily, I got it through Amazon, so I'm going to just ship it right back. And living in New York, we have Amazon Prime, which means we get things like same day or within two hours. So I actually ordered the printer that I really need, and you guys will be seeing that much later. But I'm going to pack this one up and send it back home. here I'm just setting up for my YouTube video and also to create a flat lay for my thumbnail and Instagram picture. If you guys want to see more details of how I do this, I'd be more than happy to do a video for you. But this is just a quick walkthrough of how I do that because I was really losing sun and had to work fast.
it is a few hours later and my Dymo finally got here from Amazon and so I'm just setting it up and loading it up here. I'm not gonna say the setup was easy but it also wasn't hard and you guys know that I have a background in IT so I wasn't going to bore you with the setup process. Now I will say off the bat that this printer is not cheap, um, it's definitely an investment piece, but for the amount of money that I was spending on ink um, and also just label paper um, from my regular HP printer, it was just not worth it. It was just a wasteful way of doing things and it wasn't efficient. I could only get out two labels on this huge sheet of paper, so I was also cutting paper and wasting. So I'm really excited about this upgrade and it should just help me to be more efficient and save money overall. guys so welcome to a new day so I still have to do some packing and a bit more of shop work but before I do that I have to retake the photo that I did yesterday because unfortunately once I got it into my iPad and started editing the quality wasn't too great and I'm all about having bright and crisp YouTube thumbnails because it goes a long way and so I'm going to go ahead and set up my whole scene but before I do that I'm also going to open up Skillshare so I can have a lesson going on in the background and today I'm actually looking into a lesson by by Lolo Jones um, all about optimizing your Instagram and just getting more engagement overall with your followers and honestly I have been neglecting my Instagram feed quite a bit so this training was perfect for me now if you guys are new to this channel then you probably don't know that I have partnered with Skillshare quite a few times because they are really a brand and platform that I believe in and use almost every single day if you've never heard of Skillshare they're an online learning community where you can learn about anything from knitting to web design to hand lettering or even how to open your very own Etsy shop 
And the best part about Skillshare is you learn on your own terms. So if you're busy or you need to pause a video and start again, you're able to do all of that straight from their site and also their app, which is really useful. Skillshare offers over 10,000 courses. And if you're someone like me who loves to learn and is really trying to hone into their craft, Skillshare also offers a plethora of premium videos, which are high quality training courses for you to perfect whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish. And unlike many other learning platforms, you are getting everything curated in one space for a little under $10 a month, which is an amazing cost, especially if you're trying to invest in yourself. And Skillshare was also kind enough to partner with me and give the first 500 people two months to check out their platform for free. You can't beat that. So if you guys are interested, I will have a link below, but again, it's only for the first 500. And if you guys decide to check it out, as always, please let me know what you are studying because I may want to try it out too. All right guys, so as you can see, I am ending the night in my hoodie, still packing orders, which I appreciate so, so much. I swear it is my favorite part of this entire Etsy process. And if you haven't already checked out my Brooklyn Post shop, I will have a link below in the description box, as well as an end card at the very end of this video. And I really appreciate if you guys will check it out. And I wanna say thanks again to our video sponsor, Skillshare. They make it possible for me to create these videos and keep buying new equipment to bring you even better better content. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, definitely put them below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.